Howdy folks, it's a tall turtle here and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We're going to do a frame rate test in Tokyo. We have the Japan update and the additional Japan freeware download. It's two parts. People aren't realizing that. Make sure you get both parts. The update is mandatory. Then there's freeware. I'm starting on the screen so you can see the aircraft we're in without me putting it on the bottom of the screen. There you go. And in a second, it'll tell you the airport we're at, the name, the call signs and the weather, where the weather is turned on. So here we go, let's fly a plane. All right, we're taking off from the drone and um, just having a look around since we can. The frame rate counter is on since we are going to do a frame rate test. Um, let's see, just looking around. I don't know why I'm getting those stutters probably because I've been doing a lot of flight sims without a restart. Look at all that detail. Remember, all my settings are maxed out except the one setting near the top, which you can watch a previous video for that if you like to. But look at this. We can um, speed up the drone if we'd like and speed up button and go forward if you want to. And you can have a look around that way as well. Look at that. Holy cow. So anyway, we're going to take off and head this direction because there is downtown Tokyo right there. So we're in the 152 and that's on purpose because um, I need a slow plane and I don't have any other planes yet um, set up with views and things. So we're just gonna take this plane even though we've been in it many times before. Although we are using different livery. I have like 75 liveries of this thing or something. I right, make November 410 turtle turtle or tingle tingle call signs but anyway it's actually be a longer flight than it looks let's hop inside oh there's a secret service over there let's hop inside and um start flying this thing shall we all right nice and quiet with our wood green interior let's see should we call up the checklist even though it's kind of hokey pokey fuel shut off open we have a fuel shut off not there where's the fuel shut off button i have a fuel shut off button where is it it's down here somewhere because it's between the seats right there. I don't know what I was thinking when I set these press presets. It's right there. Okay, we got it. Um, check that off. Brakes tested and set. They are. Okay. Next page. Starting the engine. Mixture rich. Carburetor. Um, again, there we go. Come on. Mixture rich. Carburetor cold in, which is there. You just can't see it now that's cabin carb is here cold alrighty um, prime as required it's over here somewhere primer good enough throttle open come on half an inch master switch can't see on there we go ignition start thousand rpms or less over here um what throttle oil pressure green that's down here right not quite in the green yet uh, lights is required that works is that awesome strobe beacon taxi pedo heat no not yet before takeoff pedo heat's not on here nav lights aren't on here either Alrighty, we will um Parking brake set, fuel shut off is open, mixture rich, strobe on, and parking brake release. There we go, that's at the end of the runway, but whatever. Okay, that was awkward, but we are here. Um, first set of flaps down, so we're going to head out to the north. Let's set our barometer for weather. I guess we could tune in the ATIS, but then we got to deal with, um, let's see, we have for ground services, just so we can get that achievement. Um, don't need any of that right now. So forget it. We'll get that achievement later. Um, should we do, should we do some of this stuff? Or should we just do, let's just do a flight. I'm wasting your time. You're here to see the frame rates. So let's just get out of ATC. Let's just fly a plane. Um, what do I have for flaps? Did I put flaps down yet? I did. Let's just taxi to the north. Hit B for the barometer. Hit D to line it with the compass. Parking brake off. We want to depart north. So let's just go out here well I don't really know which way we're going hang on pull out the drone where are we going where are we we're going to yeah go left and then fly let's go 
let's go alrighty slow down a little bit we're going kind of fast there we go look down here turn on the rest of the lights and no fuel pump or anything at least not that I know of so let's roll out and let's go look at Tokyo and see if we can stay above 50 frames per second I seem to be hovering between 38 and 48 different parts of the world with everything cranked just about so um, hopefully I remember to show you my settings when we're done because people like to see that and away we go step on the brakes to stop those wheels from spinning and get the flaps up there we go then we want to head north you can see Tokyo out the side window downtown anyway and you have this gorgeous scenery just ridiculously amazing look at that shadows and everything wow just wow alrighty Tokyo should go to the left there we go alright as we cross the bay we are likely to see a whole bunch of those POI markers the points of interest markers since I have them turned on and we will hit the smart cam which right now is still last on my keyboard because I forgot to change it and we're hoping to get an achievement here if we get so many I already did the achievement off camera where you hold it for three seconds and you get close and then I landed on a um, bridge <laughs> without gear down but it did not get recorded so anyway we're gonna head across the bay here and um, just check out these frame rates as we get closer to town we'll be heading right into downtown Tokyo let's do a little bit of sightseeing on the way oh there's a point of interest too far to see what it says though but we're gonna go by it there you go wind tower so let's do a little bit of sightseeing and I'll see you at the wind tower I love seeing the cars. I think I have the right amount of cars. Not too many, not too few. And um, looks like there's a tunnel going under the bay here. Isn't that awesome? They take the map and Bing Maps imagery, make 3D stuff out of it, and then they put cars on it, and it works. All right, here we go. Two and a half. So we need to be within f to get credit for all these sightseeing things. Oh, there's an airplane right out there. To get credit for all this, we need to be within 500 yards. So I don't know what yards, I gotta do the conversion and put it on the screen. 500 yards ends up being what in nautical miles so that we know if we're close enough so we don't hit stuff. So I don't know if it's like 0 0.02 or whatever symbol on your screen. That's what we need to be. Um, and let me just do the smart cam button, which is not pointing at this yet. And I still have to fix on my yoke to make it simpler. I just hit button on my yoke instead to reach over my keyboard. So let's come down here. And um, we're going to get really close to it so we get credit for it. And then we'll hit our button. Hopefully not crash. Because that's kind of the point of the challenge, right? You get really close and you risk crashing into either the ground or the thing you're looking at. So we're going to get really close to the smart cam. And then we'll look at it from the outside as well. In the meantime, downtown Tokyo is coming into view more and more. Frame rates are dipping to the 40s, which is fine. Because remember, simulator, you want to aim between 25 and 35 frames per second. If you're getting more than 35, you're missing out on detail that you could be um, you could be using with higher settings. If you get lower than 25, you need to turn things down. So here's the smart cam. Is this close enough to count? Gonna give it some fuel here. <laughs> is that close enough to count? I hope so. See how scary that is? That's why it's cool because you could screw up and crash. There we are looking back at it. That thing is awesome looking. I'm gonna Google and research what that is. I have an idea what that is, but I'm not gonna say it if I'm wrong and know something dumb. But I have an idea what that is. Alright, 
here we go. It looks like we're getting in the way of the other airport there. Hopefully, they don't get too upset with us. But there is Tokyo. We're at 45, 46 frames per second. Now, of course, I lose like two frames per second because I record, but that's neither neither here nor there. I just want to see the scenery. I will admit I did fly by earlier in a really fast plane because I was chasing storms. I didn't get to see anything because I was really high. I was like 7,000 feet going really fast. So we're going low and slow this time just to see what this looks like. And then um, we'll probably just randomly pick an airport nearby and land without ATC. Oh, there's another POI. See, they'll pop into view. There should be a whole bunch of them. I think there's 16 across Japan. A lot of them here in Tokyo. Tokyo Gate Bridge. Any others around that we risk, mis risk missing here? Doesn't look like it, but look at that airplane coming in. Are they landing? Yeah, they're landing. Let's see if we can watch them land. Or is my frame going to be exactly in the way? Let's go like this. Look at that. Isn't that cool how that works? And that's a real aircraft that's really existing right. Of course, it's a couple minutes behind. So a couple minutes ago in real life, that plane really landed. Um, I don't think he's going to land there. If so, that is the worst landing I've ever seen. But anyway, it's real. Um, if we had air traffic control tuned into that, we would get the real, my understanding, oh, he's going to make it. Okay. We would get like the real call. Sometimes this is generic, but earlier today, like I had an Embraer or whatever. It was the right aircraft and the sim was the right name on air traffic control. So it really does work. But we don't have ATC tuned in right now because ATC is fun. I've been using it pretty much every flight, but I'm not in the mood right now. Look at that. 15, 50, 49, 48 frames per second. Oh, how cool, huh? Once you get to Tokyo, we will take out the drone and we will um, just look around a little bit back to pause. But for right now, let's just fly around for a little bit. Let's slow down a little bit here. What's our speed looking like? Yeah, we're, we're moving at a pretty good clip, so we can slow down a little bit. Um, so anti-lacing and everything is cranked, which you can tell from all this stuff, and all the buildings are crystal clear. This is, I don't know what's going on in the water there, but I assume it's supposed to be that way. Let's move over like this so we're not looking at the prop. And we are also going to, again, use the smart cam. There we go, but we'll use it again when we're closer so we can get credit for it. I wish I knew while I recorded this how close I need to be in nautical miles to be within 500 yards. or just 300 yards. I'm sure it's 500 yards. Oh gosh, I want to fly under that. But we come too far to accidentally crash. So anyway, I wish I knew how many nautical miles it would be to um, be 300 yards, but whatever. You know now because I looked it up, but I don't know as I record this. So here we go, let's just fly over this bridge super carefully and not crash into it and give it some gas. There we go. All right, let's head out of here. Oh gosh, we have a whole bunch more popping in. We're just gonna chase these around a little bit. Get an achievement for 25 of them, but there aren't gonna be 25 here, but we'll make a good dent towards it. Look at that airplane taking off. Wow, I cannot wait to take the drone out in a minute. So what are we at? 44, 43, 42 frames per second. About to go over Tokyo. Very nice. Very, very cool. Get this. This is amazing. Look at the cruise ship docked over there. Look at this. Look at all these POIs. The sky tree. Look at that highway. 
that if that isn't as realistic as possible, then I don't know what to tell you. Holy cow! Let's slow this thing down so we can um, so we can get some more of our, our POI credits here. Look at that. There's four to look at here. There's one over there. We're just going to go around Tokyo. This is going to be more than a frame rate test. This is going to be a VFR test, I think, but not an extreme detail. Then again, maybe, maybe once you get the drone out, a whole bunch more popped in. All right, here we go. I don't know how close we need to be, but we got the speed to do it. So let's just come down here and smart cam. Oh boy, climb, 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 because that is collision, that is collision. So if you hit that bridge, you will, that's the end of your, that's the end of your trip. How do we not hit that building or that tower? Oh, the bridge. Holy cow. Okay, that was really scary. Um, I think you have to be within 300 yards of these. I know for some of them you do. For to count. Look at this. This is getting kind of dangerous right now. This is where we should be in the icon again. But, um... But, let me see. What are we looking at for speed? Yeah, let's get going. Actually, let's get a set of flaps down so we can actually go more slowly through here. There we go. Wow, look at this. This is insane. Look at this. 33 frames per second. So we're right in that sweet spot between 35, 25 and 35. This is exactly where you want to be when you are doing a flight simulator. Very nice. Okay, oh boy. We almost stalled. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> This is very dangerous and very risky, but I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this a very long time. Look at that. Oh, she should have shut her shades. All right, a whole bunch more POIs. I don't think we're gonna get to all of these. I wanted to hit them all, but that would make for a very long video. So let's do a few more here without crashing into stuff. And then we will um, take out the drone and have a look around. So we're gonna get two for one today, frame rate test and VFR test, I think, after all. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna to get to Tokyo probably, so this is the next best thing. And look at that, 31, 30 frames per second. That is perfect for a flight simulator. Like I was saying, if you have more than 35, then you wanna crank up settings because you're missing out. If you have fewer than 25, you gotta dial it back or else it's not smooth enough. So we got a national gymnasium and a whole bunch of more stuff. And then we'll come back because we get to the edge of town. And then we'll check out the other things, some of the other things. And then the drone. What if I hop outside? Well, okay, we're going fast enough. I can hop outside, right? Look at that, that is so awesome. We got this nice park. That is so cool. Can we spin around? I think we can. Yep. All right, reset that view, there we go. Okay, let's hop back inside now and slow down. And let's see, we're going over the gymnasium. That's okay. All right, see this is why I need this button on my yoke because I don't have enough hands to look and make sure we're not gonna crash, see? Because if I had the button on my yoke, then I can control everything at once, but. So I actually have to put it on my left side, don't I? Anyway, all right, here we go. This is gonna get interesting. All right, let's climb a little bit. We still have flaps out, and we're gonna keep them out. We're gonna have a peak here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if that 300 yard thing applies to all these achievements, we're not gonna get it with um, with these landmarks. Plus, I don't even know if all landmarks count. This is the star landmarks, but I haven't been able to see anything with little stars. So, oh boy, oh boy. Um, if we touch these buildings, we will crash and that will be the end of our day. Okay, flaps coming in. Let's just get out of here. Let's not worry about getting our landmarks here. Because if we touch, you will. Yeah, that's a long way to come. So let's hit S and 
see a couple of these. There we go. It needs to be three seconds, I think, or is it five? I don't know. I'm probably mixing up my achievements. So those of you who know what I'm talking about, if it's wrong, don't laugh at me. Because by the time you've seen this, I've already researched and corrected myself in my head if it needs to be done. Look at that. All right, let's... um. Let's take out the drones. So what we're going to do, we're going to get somewhere safe. So we're going to be flaps in, throttles most of the way. Then we'll act a pause. There we go. We'll take out the drone. And we will move the mouse out of the way and reset the drone. There we go. And um, let's have a look around here. So let's see. We want to slow things down. And there we go. And let's have a look. Let's go for a fly here. Let's get away from that airplane so it's nice and quiet. Wow. Sec. Oh, that's a good speed. We'll keep it at the speed. And the airplane should get softer. Look at the traffic down there. Look at the traffic. What are we at? 44, 43 frames per second. I guess we're not in the heart of the tallest buildings, but these buildings, you know, every object hits frames so just because these are tall buildings doesn't mean it's going to be more or less of a hit than these in fact these could be worse right um, I was doing some flights on my own a little bit ago where it was a rural area but a city kind well you know what I mean that wasn't a big metropolis but it was a big city and it actually caused my frame rates to go down in the high 20s because of all the objects even though it wasn't a big city like this so look at this wow let's just Let's just go down here, because we can. Look at that. Oh, look at it. It looks like dystopia. I love dystopia. This doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> now, this is not a, um, you know, cycling simulator or jogging simulator. Do you hear the sounds, though? Listen, I'm going to shut up and listen. actually traffic sounds and animal sounds look at that so even though when you're down in the guts of everything it looks kind of goofy but that's just how it's extrapolating data it doesn't matter because you're not going to be doing that the lowest you're normally going to fly isn't even this low and it looks just fine and as we get farther away it looks even better and even better Let's speed this up a little bit here. Should we go quite quickly? Yeah. Let's just go into town a little bit. Oh my, what happened to that building there? Oh dear. Interesting. I think you can go through some of these. Yeah, those you can. But the ones that are hand modeled, I believe, are hard surfaces. So it would ruin your day if you hit one. Look at this. Look at that waterway and the cars going over the bridge. So we're at a solid 40 frames per second there. Then we're down to 35 here because of all the buildings in the center of your screen. Not because of the tall ones, because of the ones in the center. So everything cranked. I'll show you the settings at the end. Everything cranked. Um, except for one thing. In 1440p. I'm not in 4K. I don't have a 4K monitor. 1440p. Everything cranked except one thing. I just have a 2080, just a regular 2080, and um, an i7. I think it's an 8700, I think. Not overclocked, air cooled, 32 gigs of RAM. Nothing special. I actually have a review of my PC on the channel if you just Google or if you just search it back a little bit. What's going on there? Whoops, I went too far. That's cool. Look at the green space. Oh, that's another thing I have to do. Again, note to self, I have to um, do a rural Minnesota VFR flight just to see what happens with all the trees and things. Because up high, the trees are awesome, but when you get close, I think the trees look kind of nasty, to be honest. But we'll see. Look at all this stuff. Wow. This is just Tokyo, and all of Japan has been done. 
Googly moogly. Oh, let's check out the dive building again since we... Oh no, there's a gymnasium over there. We couldn't see very well. Let's head back this way and then we'll jump to our airplane in a moment and then we'll fly around a little more and we'll just pick a random airport to land at. There we go. We go a little bit faster. So when we go faster, we dip down in the high 20s. That's interesting. Oh, now we're back up to 30. Okay. Let's go down a little bit, see what happens. Oh my gosh, you can like walk the streets. Look at that. That's crazy. Then we go up. There's that gymnasium. I want to check that out. Ooh, look at that. Definitely looks better when you're higher. Oh, look at all the stadiums all in a row. Look at that. That definitely looks better higher, and that's kind of the point. See, now we're up to 40 frames again. This is so cool. Coming in. Coming in hot. Let's check out this gymnasium just because it caught my eye. And then we'll head back to the airplane. That is so cool. We'll stop, don't worry. Look at that. The parking lot, of course, hasn't been modeled, so you go down in this flat. But you're not normally going to be doing this, right? So it doesn't matter. Let's go over this park and then turn around. 26 frames per second. Ooh. 25. Ooh. We're making this thing work hard. There we go. But normally you're not in the trees like that. So normally you're up here. And then we're above 35. So then we're above that sweet spot. There you go. Okay. Let's head back to the plane. I think it's this button. Oh, we're making it work hard. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was scary. All right. Let's hop inside, I think. What button is that? I have so many buttons. There we go. All right. Undo active pause. Let's see what happens. Oh, good. That time it wasn't so crazy in the previous video. Oh, yeah. See, it's kind of getting its bearings again. Yeah. Okay. Flaps coming in. All right, let's check out the sky tree because everybody's talking about the sky tree on the forums, I guess. I don't know why, but anyway, there we are. Hitting between 29 and 35 frames per second like we want to be. So did we hit 50 frames per second? Yeah, we did in some spots. But if we were hitting 50 frames in all spots, then that means we're missing out on some settings that can be cranked up. But they're all cranked up except the first one. There we go, 30, 40. Yeah, there we go. This is exactly where we want the frame rates to be. So we're not above 50 everywhere, but we're within that sweet spot everywhere, which is perfect. So I'm very happy. More fierce wheels and roller coasters down there. Check that out. Interesting. Just look at that. It looks realistic because it is. It's photorealistic. Nice. All right, let's see. What is the sky tree thing? All right, we're getting closer and closer. And, um, just looking at the scratches and dirt on the wind, the glare shield, the windshield, thinking it was birds, and it's not. It's just dirt. All right, here we go. Get really close to this thing, and we'll do our. Well, that was a crash to desktop, a CTD they call it. So what had happened was we had flown by the tower and I hit V on my keyboard to pull up the VFR map to find an airport to go land at and to crash the desktop and it corrupted my recording but I do have some secret software that's not so secret that was able to fix most of the recording so I was able to use it so this is later I wanted to show everybody my graphic settings since I mentioned it so like I said everything is cranked up to max except render scaling so there you go and um that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So quick outro. If you enjoyed the flight, I certainly did. It was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. That just seems to be how things go. But I enjoyed it. I enjoy making the videos for you, and I know a lot of you enjoy watching them. So plenty more to come, along with some X-Plane and some Minecraft. And I have another little tiny game that I've been meaning to play for a couple months. i got to play. It's like a two-hour game. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to play the YouTube algorithm game. And I'll see you next time.